The good news from Belize is there's no news from Belize. Given that it's in Central America, that is news in itself. If you can't remember where Belize is, you're probably not alone. It used to be called British Honduras. It's in Central America, all right, just the other side of that big bump in the Gulf of Mexico. But in every other way, it's in a world of its own. This is Belize, Radio 1. It's 6 o'clock, la 6 de la mañana. In London, it's the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. In Belize, the biggest deal of the day is the opening or closing, depending on whether you're a person or a boat, of the bridge at 6 o'clock sharp, give or take a few minutes. There's not a lot of news in Belize, and Belizeans are not interested in anyone else's news. The paper comes out weekly and contains such spellbinders as the opening of a sanitary napkin factory. If you were to write a motto for Belize, it might be no sweat. The place has never been invaded or invaded anyone else or had a coup or got terribly worked up about anything. I think we're a society that's fairly free from, from paranoia, um, fairly free from hysteria and fairly free from excesses. Dean Barrow is foreign minister and economics minister and attorney general. What accounts for all this ear-splitting serenity? We have a, a completely um, different history and tradition from the rest of Central America. You can trust the courts. That sort of thing. You can trust um, the police. Precisely. You can trust the government. I would certainly hope so. Which is saying a lot for Central America. <laughs> Belize has always been the odd country out, free of the corruption, the dictators, guerrilla movements of its neighbors. Its ingredients would seem to be a recipe for disaster. Every race, color, religion you can think of. Creoles and Carib Indians, whites and blacks and Asians all coagulating into a quite content society. No sweat at all. <laughs> 